Hello everyone, my name's Paul. I'm doing an annual condition inspection on my RV7A. And the problem I have every year is I always have to go up and bother the mechanics at the FBO because I don't do this all the time, once a year or as needed. Um, getting ready to do the uh, magneto timing check. So I'm trying to make a video to help uh, myself remember how to do this, not have to bother them. And in the meantime, hopefully it'll help y'all too. Safety first. Mixtures all the way out, uh, throttles all the way out, master switch is off, ignition is off, and keys are out. Now I'm going to take out, take off all the spark plug wires, top and bottom, and then I'm going to take out all the plugs on the top uh, of the engine. Okay, once again, here we go. A uh, moment ago I said I was going to take out the, the bottom, the top plugs, but I didn't. I took out the bottom plugs on my plane because the baffling gets in the way on the, on, the, on the back two cylinders. So I just took out all the bottom. All the spark plug wires are off, as you can see, top and bottom, of course. And once again, safety, throttle, and mixture cable are all the way out. Ignition is off. The key is up here. And the master switch is confirmed off. So we're ready to get started on this timing. Okay, the proper way to hook up the magneto tester is the green wire goes to the right magneto, the red wire goes to the left magneto, the P leads on each magneto, and the black wire goes to ground. Um, easy way to remember that is red goes to the left, just like your position lights on the left wing tip are red, and vice versa, vice versa, green on the right. Easy way to remember. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is turn the propeller one more thing, you'll notice I got my phone sitting here in case on the GoPro it doesn't pick up the lights on the uh, magneto tester. So first thing, find the top dead center on cylinder number one. This is cylinder number one. Put my finger over the hole. The beauty of having the plugs out is that prop's easy to turn. You do it till you're coming up on the compression stroke. Here we go. That's about it. And then we're going to rotate the prop, direction of rotation, a little bit more until we get the, here the impulse coupling in the magneto. Right there. And that's where we stop. Now, ignition, switch to both. Again, master switch is off. Right, left, both. So the mags are now ungrounded, I think is the right way to say that, to see that. Let me say that. I'm going to turn the light on. And we've got a tone. Now that's close to top dead center. So now what we have to do is we have to rotate it in the opposite direction back to uh, 25 degrees before top dead center plus a few. And then we're going to start bumping it back in the direction of rotation again until these lights give us the indication that the contacts have opened. So now we're going to go back and I've got my marks down here on the flywheel. There we go. Now that's it. About 25 degrees. And I'm going to go a little bit more or another. Something like that. Just a little bit. Now we're going to go back again. Just getting close. Alright. Alright. I'm getting pretty close right there according to the marks. All right, right there, the uh, points on the right magneto have opened. And now we're going to see where that puts us on our timing. I'm gonna bring the camera down here. Let me get a little light on this, open the hangar door a tiny bit. And see if I can get up in there. All right, you can see the timing mark right there. I mean, there's 25 degrees and there's the, the mark right there. And that is, that is just really close. Now we're gonna go back the other way. Now look at there, the light came back on. All right, uh, there, just a tiny bit more. Let's see what that did. 
That's still dang close. I mean, you're just not gonna get any closer. That's for the fire. All right, now we're gonna rotate until the left magneto. Put this here so you can see the light. So the left magneto opens and that'll be indicated by the light going out, the red light. There it is. All right, now let's see where this one is. Take that up, and you can see that that's, that's within a half a tooth or so of, of the line uh, in the direction of, uh, uh, in this direction. So probably 24 and three quarter or so, less than a half a degree. And if you'll notice, I got on this side, this is okay, this is no. This here would be advanced timing, and that's a danger zone. It can cause detonation and engine damage. This is uh, retarded timing, um, and uh, I always shoot for like 24 and a half to 25 degrees, and both mags uh, synchronized together as close as possible, and I'm happy with that. All right. Ignition off. Off, and now we're ready for the, moving on to the next step. Okay, I got lucky. My, my uh, timing was within a half a degree and uh, they're both sitting at about 24 and a half, maybe even 24 and three quarters of a degree. And you, you can't, uh, anything past that, you're trying to split hairs. Um, if you did have to adjust the magneto, one of the things a lot of people talk about or the mechanics is, is the backlash in the gears. And I, I know some of them have, have said go all the way back to one end and then try to bring the, the magneto back up. And, but if you try to do that and you only need to, you know, to rotate it that far and, and you're moving it this far and hope to get back to the exact same spot you were at, well, that's just hopeless. Uh, to me, it's better to wherever it is, if you're close and you need to go just a smidgen further, uh, just go ahead and, and go that smidgen further, 16th of an inch or whatever, you know, just bump it just a little bit, snug it back down. And now, rotate that prop all the way around again, find top dead center on number one cylinder, all the backlash is gone, and check the timing. That's the simpler way to do it in my opinion, whether you're going, you know, a little bit left or right with the magneto. Rotate that prop all the way around and that'll take care of the backlash. I sure hope this helps everybody. Um, till next time.